Hello and welcome to Virtual Crafts. In this video, we'll see how we can add a back to top button in our website. Back to top button is an accessibility feature that makes it easier for you to scroll to top again once you have scrolled way down on a website. For example, scroll down on this website and you'll see that this button appears as soon as we scroll down. Go above and it will disappear. Scroll down and no matter at what point of your website, when you'll click this button, it will take you back to the top. Scroll down again and this time right to the bottom and when you'll click it, it will again take you to the top section of your website. So if your website has long pages and you want to provide your visitors an easy way to scroll back to the top, simply create these back to top buttons and then they will not have to scroll all the way back to the top but they'll just click this button and it will automatically take them to the top. Now there are three ways we can add back to top buttons in our website. One way is that you toggle the back to top setting in your customizer. Now point to be noted here that all the themes may not provide a back to top button feature. In that case you'll have to go for the other two ways. The second way is you can create a back to top button using Elementor. And the third way is that you can create a back to top button using a plugin. So we'll start with the first one that will toggle our setting in our theme customizer for back to top button. Currently I have disabled that scroll to top button. I will scroll down and no scroll to top button will appear here. So let's see how we can enable that button. Go to your dashboard. Go to appearance and click customize. Now in the very first videos of this course I mentioned that this area is slightly different for every theme. So your theme customizer tabs might not look like this. I am using Zakra theme. So if you are using any other theme, these tabs might be slightly different. So you will have to search for your scroll to top button setting. For me it is in theme options, then footer, and then this is the section scroll to top. And currently it is disabled. I will toggle this setting to enable it. And now when I scroll down, I see this button appears. Here are some settings for this button. You can choose the icon color, icon hover color, the background color of the button and the background hover color. Publish it. Now go to your website and refresh it. And now when we scroll down, the button appears. Now the second way to add the scroll to top button is through Elementor. I'll go to my customizer and disable this one and then click publish. Now close this customizer, come back to your website and add it with Elementor. Okay we are at our Elementor editor, scroll down and you'll see there is no scroll to top button. Now scroll down right to the bottom and drag this button widget in the content area. Align it to right. Delete the button text and in this icon section add an icon to this button. Search for arrow and you have bunch of arrows here. I'll add this arrow as my back to top button and click insert. Now the icon has been added. Now go to this size setting. Currently it is set to small. I'll go for large. Go to this styles tab and then click this pencil icon against typography and change your font size. Set an icon size that suits best for you. Choose a background color. Currently it is green. Head to this hover tab and choose a hover background color. Let's say I choose a blue color. And now when I hover over it, the color will be blue. Scroll down and come to this padding section. Unlink the values and you'll see there is currently no padding. Now link the values again and give a padding. Let's say I gave it a padding of 20. 
you will see that the padding of right side is bit greater than others so I will delink the values and I will decrease the padding on the right side now the icon is completely centered ok now our button has been created but when we scroll down it disappears it needs to be sticky all the time so go to this advanced tab scroll down and click this positioning set this position from default to fixed now choose a position currently it is at the top choose it to bottom now select an offset here bottom offset and now the right offset so now this button will be sticky even if I scroll up and down this will always appear now how will we make this button to work that when we will click it it will go back to the top scroll to the top add a new section above the, your top section and search for anchor widget in the last video we saw how we can create menu anchors so if you have not seen that video you will find the link in description drag this to your content area and give it a name top now go back to your button now give it a link you must give this hashtag along the link the link will be the name of the anchor we just created which is top and now when we will click this button it will take us to the top no matter where from we click it it will take us to the top section of our website update the changes and visit your website and you will see this button scroll down scroll up and this button is sticky click it and you will see it works so this is how we add a scroll to top button using Elementor now the third way is that how we can add this button using a plugin Go to your dashboard First I will go to Elementor and delete this button Scroll down and delete it Update the changes and close this tab and now you'll see there is no button here. Go to your dashboard. Now we have to add a plugin, so go to plugins and add new. Search for a plugin, scroll to top. And install this plugin, WP Front Scroll Top. Activate this plugin. Okay, the plugin has now been installed. Check this enable checkbox to enable this scroll to top button on your website. Check this box if you want to async JavaScript, it will increase your site performance. Here you'll add a scroll offset that this button will appear after I've scrolled 100 pixels. You can change this value, I'll keep it to default. Here you can give the button size, set it to 0 pixel by 0 pixels if you want it to auto fit. Button opacity is currently 80, you can change it according to you. Button fade duration when it appears is 200 milliseconds, which is 0.2 seconds, you can change it according to you. Uh, now this is the scroll duration. I suggest you change it to a larger value if you have longer pages for smooth scrolling. We'll see how it scrolls on our page and then we'll change this value. Check this box if you want to auto hide this button when you are static on a section for these many seconds. Currently they are set to 2. So when I'm static on any section for 2 seconds or more than 2 seconds, this button will auto hide. Check this box if you want to hide this button on small devices like phones and tablets. Go for these settings according to you. Now you can choose to hide it on iframes or pop-ups. Check this box. Button style is currently set to an image, so we'll have an image of the top arrow. 
you can choose it to text and write your text as a scroll to top or top or something like that or you can choose a font or some icon too here the button action is specified currently it scrolls to the top you can scroll it to a specific element give the css selector of that element and then this button will scroll to that element but currently we need it to scroll to top so i'll select this one or you can link it to a page as well give a page url here uh, these are the location settings the location is currently set to bottom right which is here you can change the location according to you give the x and y margin to this button that how much space will be left at right and at the bottom when the button appears you can apply a filter way to display this button currently it is set to all pages choose this drop down and select the pages you want it to appear on i'll select it to be visible on all pages and here you'll select the image you want to show for your scroll to top button so uh, you have the images having text on them you have the images which are simply the icons and you have some stylish images too so let's choose this one image alt is the text that appears until the image loads i'll name it top and save the changes Now let's visit the website. And you'll see that the currently button is not visible. The button will be visible when I'll scroll to 100 pixels or more because we've set the value here. Go back and scroll down and now it shows. Click it and it will take you to the top. Currently the button appears too early because we've set the height to 100 pixels. Let's change it to 500 and then save the changes. Refresh the website. Now scroll down and it will not appear immediately. It will appear when we have scrolled to 500 pixels. Go back. And another important feature this plugin gives is that it adds a scroll to top button on your back end as well. For example, scroll down and it has added a button here as well. So when you click it, it will take you to the top. It will work everywhere. Go to plugins. Scroll down. The button appears. When you click it, it will take you to the top. Go to the settings again and you can hide it on admin dashboard by checking this button and now the button will be hidden on this dashboard. If you select the text option in the button style, scroll down and you'll add your text here and you can add custom CSS to style your text. For example, I'll write top and save the changes. Now refresh the page. Scroll down. Now you'll see this top button. So that's how you create scroll to top buttons in your website. That's all for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon next to it to receive the notifications for latest videos. Thank you and see you in the next video.